basement cement walls, what we're working with here. I'm trying to create a space for myself so I can film videos and make it not look like I'm in a basement. Um, hard to do. Everything's an illusion, I guess. My goal at this moment is to take this wall and paint it so that way it doesn't look like, like that. So the plan at the moment is to explore the contents of these to see um, what I can make on my wall. I'm scared to see what's inside of this. Oh, that's cute. A little gross, but cute. That's kind of cute. Okay, moving on to the next one. The amount of struggle I went through. Look at this. Look at that. That's gross. Pretty. I have four colors. Don't ask me what happened to the blue. I'd rather not talk about it. But my plan is for this bland wall right here, I'm going to do a sort of like waved pattern. I think the wave would look really nice um, and it's more of my style and it would give this space more of a me vibe. So that's what I'm gonna go with. of the desk down as much as I want to which is not very much but I got it to a point where I know what I want to do with it I am going to pour on it I'm going to do white and then I am going to do my other colors and I think because I don't have a hair dryer I think I'm just going to pull it out with a paintbrush and we'll see how it looks I'm 
debating on if I want to keep it white. Because <sighs> it might be nice to have just a plain white desk. But it's so boring. Look how pretty. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. All right. I don't know how to shut my phone off. This is awesome. I did a little shopping. I got, let me just show you. That's, that's a light because <laughs> this, this is not a good lighting system. a beautiful studio space that I am very happy to be able to use. I for a long time have dreamt about creating a YouTube channel for my art and being able to share my art with the world. I think it's something that's really important to me. It's a very big characteristic of my personality and I have for a long time been really interested in sharing my art and sharing what I do with my art and how I create my art because personally from my experience in viewing a lot of art and from my experience in creating my art I know how unique my style is my style is unique in a way where it's very strange like it's very weird it's very vibrant it's not a taste that everybody likes, as is everyone's art style. But my art personally is so strange, um, and that's one of the reasons why I love it so much, because I've really found my art style in the past couple of years, and being able to create a studio space where I can now post YouTube videos is really important to me, um, and it's sort of a dream come true. So recording this right now um, is surreal in a way. So. My goal with this YouTube channel is to create quality content that's not fake. Like, I don't want to show up as somebody I'm not. I don't want you to feel like I'm trying to be somebody I'm not when you watch my videos. I don't want you, like, I want to create quality content that's meaningful. And I find a lot of meaning in my art and I hope that, um, people on YouTube and people viewing my channel find meaning in it as well because that is my main goal. Yeah. I just feel like there's so much lacking in this world 
where, especially in the social media world, where people are <sighs> always just trying to fit, fit this mold. Sorry. I just feel like people are trying to fit this mold of perfection all the time. And I feel like people don't show up as who they genuinely are, as like their genuine human self um, a lot of the time anymore. And I think that's really sad. And my message, my intention, my goal, whatever you want to call it, is to come here on this platform and really provide quality videos. I just think it's really important to me to finally be able to share my art because I feel like I haven't been given that opportunity in the past um, at this level. Not that it's, you know, huge at the moment, but it's a big step for me. And I'm really grateful that I get to do this. And I'm really grateful that I have created this space for me where I can create quality videos for people to enjoy. So people have that inspiration to maybe do this for themselves because it's not impossible. When I was a kid at like eight to 13 years old, maybe even younger than that, I was thinking about starting a YouTube channel, like specifically for my art. I was just like, I just want to create content that people can watch and love. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I feel like I'm spreading a really important message with my art. And I feel like I'm, I'm really pushing a message um, with my art that more people should be aware of. And it differs from every art piece, as every art piece is different. And yeah, there's just... I feel like so much that goes into it and I'm putting so much into it and I have value to provide with it just by spreading a message. Like I, I really just want to teach people and spread a message and provide that value. I really just want to provide that value for other, for others. Yeah. So. Thank you all for watching me create my beautiful studio space. And it was a beautiful process for me. I'm really happy that I got to do it once again. And I'm super happy that I got to share this journey with you. I use YouTube as a, I use YouTube as a space to share my journey through life with other people. And that's why I love this platform so much. And that's why I love being able to do things like share my processes with you guys and my art and that's why creating a YouTube channel for my art has been such a big goal for me in the past five years maybe longer than that it's probably even longer than that but thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video